Backstage View is the place to go when you need to create, open, save, and print files. All file management tasks are accessed from this new, centralized location. You can also change file settings, get help, set file security and sharing, and view file properties. In Microsoft Office 2010, Backstage View replaces the Microsoft Office button and file menus used in previous versions of Office. You want to spend some time exploring Backstage View to familiarize yourself with its features and options. You'll begin by creating a new presentation that is based on a template. By default, Microsoft PowerPoint opens to the Home tab and displays a new, blank presentation. Do you see the orange tab to the left of the Home tab? This is the File tab that we can use to open Backstage View. Let's click on it now to begin choosing a template. Here is Backstage View, where all file management tasks are performed. In this view, file commands and options are listed on the left, while options related to the currently selected item are displayed on the right. The four buttons that appear at the top of the left pane, Save, Save As, Open, and Close, are always available regardless of the tab selected. The Recent tab, which we see here, shows a history of recently visited files and places. Let's move to the New tab next. The new tab displays templates from both our hard drive and office.com. We're looking for a template for a training session and we'll find more template options online, so let's try presentations in the online section. There are several categories of presentation templates here. We should be able to find what we need in the training presentation folder. Here are several templates for various kinds of training presentations. In addition to seeing thumbnails of each template, we can preview the currently selected template in the far right pane and also who created the template. Let's take a closer look at the training presentation template. The preview along the right shows a slightly larger view of the template, who created it, and the current rating by other users. The training presentation template looks like a good match for us. Creating the presentation brought us back to the Home tab where we can see a new presentation based on the template we just selected. We could easily modify any of the sample data, but for now let's return to Backstage View so we can continue exploring more of the features there. Clicking the File tab returned us to Backstage View and opened the Info tab. From this tab we can control who can view and edit the workbook, check for possible file sharing issues, manage file versions, and view file properties such as the author, when the file was last modified, and the presentation title. Now that we've got a feel for the options in the Info tab, let's examine another important file management feature, printing. You may be familiar with the Print dialog box from previous versions of Office. Print settings available in that dialog box such as printer selection, which slides to print, number of slides per page, and grayscale can be accessed from the Print tab, and we can also see a preview of our presentation. Headers and footers can be added and modified from here as well. Next, we'll take a look at the Save and Send tab. The Save and Send tab contains commands for saving and forwarding presentations. It has options for sending a presentation as an email attachment, sending a link to a presentation in an email, or faxing a copy of the presentation. From here, you can also save and publish a presentation to the web, or to the SharePoint site, or as a PDF, XPS, or different file format. Next, let's take a look at where to go when you need help. The Help tab contains links to Microsoft Office Help, the Getting Started page, and the Microsoft Support website. You can also check for the latest software updates and view information about the currently installed version of PowerPoint. The Options button, below Help, is important because it provides access to program settings you might want to customize. Let's take a quick peek at it now. The PowerPoint Options dialog box is where we can customize how PowerPoint operates and how presentations appear. For example, we can set Auto Recovery options on the Save tab, change the default autocorrect settings on the Proofing tab, or modify the number of recently viewed files we see using the Advanced tab. 
Now that we've gotten a feel for the key features of Backstage View, let's go ahead and close the dialog box. Now let's take a look at how to exit PowerPoint. We could do this using the close button in the upper right corner of the window, but if any other presentations are open, only this window will close and PowerPoint will still be open. We can close the entire application from Backstage View. The close button near the top of the left pane will only close the current presentation. The exit button at the bottom of the left pane will close the entire application. That's the one we want. As we have just seen, Backstage View organizes important file maintenance tasks into one convenient location on the File tab. From creating to saving files, Backstage View is where you want to go when you need to manage your files.